it was announced late last year that Disney is planning a $60 billion expansion of their theme park business. This is after a very slow recovery and slumping profits after the worldwide sickness. Put a real crimp in the business of Disneyland in California, Disney World in Florida, and their other various parks across the globe. Could some of the expansion be for a dark villain-themed park? I'm Troy from Marks on Media, and today we're talking about the ever-mysterious legend and possible reality of Disney's Dark Kingdom. Now, on with the story. The links to the articles I'm covering can be found in the video description. It's been the subject of much Disney fan speculation online for years. Does the Walt Disney Corporation have plans to create an entire theme park centered around bad guys? If you are bad guy, but this does not mean you're bad guy. Some say yes, but others closer to Disney have more heartbreaking news. We're going to go back to just this past October 1st. We're starting with an article from The Thrillist titled The Untold Story of Disney's Long-Rumored Villain-Themed Dark Kingdom Park. About a decade ago, a Disney fan hoping for updates about a supposed all-villains theme park that Disney would nestle alongside its other properties in Central Florida posted that inquiry on Reddit. In response, someone linked to an equally vague post on the WDW Info webpage about Disney parks that were never built. More posts have been popping up, fueling the mystery, and some fans have taken a TikTok to fantasize about what such a park might look like. Imagine. Again and again, the concept of a Dark Kingdom park has been reiterated, and again and again, the response has attracted believers and skeptics alike. Every post devoted to the Dark Kingdom features the same basic skeleton. Disney had, or has, plans to carve out part of its Walt Disney World complex and hand it to the brand's rogues gallery. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Instead of being relegated to the park's Halloween celebration, villains like Ursula, Captain Hook, Maleficent, Gaston, the Evil Queen, and even Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas would get their chance to shine year-round in ghoulish shows and attractions. Except that this park never existed, not even in some rough conceptual form. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. No. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. As Disney historian Jim Hill told me, quote, the idea of the Dark Kingdom seems to have basically come from the internet with no basis on anything concrete. Or, as one former Imagineer familiar with the actual postponed projects and online rumors puts it, quote, an entirely villain-centered park is complete bullshit. Everything that guy just says bullshit. That's a bit harsh and heartbreaking all at the same time. I'm gonna go cry in the bathroom. Peace out, homies! <laughs> They go on to say that the rumors actually trace back to July 11th, 1986, where former Imagineer Mark Eads says the Cinderella Castle Mystery Tour in Tokyo Disney was the beginning of speculation due to its creepy nature. You run into various villains or low points for the heroes in Disney films, culminating with coming face to face with the Horned King from the Black Cauldron. There have been other villain-themed shops and experiences in Disney parks back in America since then, fueling the speculation. I would suggest reading this entire article. This next article I'm going to be covering from Inside the Magic, however, is actually from further back in March of 2023. We've got to take it with a grain of salt, but you can all decide for yourself. The article is titled, Disney Imagineer Confirms Villain Park in the Works. So that was a f***ing lie. Disney Imagineer Chris Beatty just revealed to EW, Entertainment Weekly, where the company stands on the matter, and signs could be pointing to yes. The Imagineer told them, quote, We're dreaming every day about what could be next at Walt Disney World. We just wanted to give you a peek at some of the amazing things that could be coming. It's changing every day. It's exciting. I think Josh was really trying to get across the spirit of creativity, of what could be next, of innovation, of the possibility of what could be is still alive and well at Disney and Imagineering, end quote. But the big takeaway from the conversation was, quote, The villain concept got pretty good applause. We took note of how loud the applause was when we announced that, end quote. At the very least, Disney has an interest. Interest is good, but can it really be considered 100% confirmation? That might still be up in the air, but Disney Park guests could potentially see this concept come to life sooner rather than later. <laughs> okay. 
that doesn't really give us much to go on, and since the Dark Kingdom urban legend began years and maybe decades ago, many current and former Disney Imagineers claim that it's all a work of fiction and simply an urban legend. Dwight, you ignorant slut! Is it true? Are they playing their cards close to their vest? Perhaps what they say is true, but with the current state of Disney and its parks, and after what Chris Beatty just said to EW, perhaps the Mouse House is thinking up new strategies to renovate their parks, give them all a proper kick into gear, and get the cash dollars flowing yet again. While this is all very much just rumor and speculation at this point, I know many faithful Disney Park goers are dreaming that we'll soon see something dark and villainous pop up as an experience for them. Someone will die. Um. Fun. And as Disney always says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. I know, I'm super corny. I get it. I don't get it. Comment with what you think of the Dark Kingdom idea. Do you think that it's all urban legend? Do you think that there is real possibility that Disney could make a Dark Kingdom park and not just temporarily for Halloween? Would you want to visit the Dark Kingdom if it became a reality? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy for Marks on Media, and we'll see you next time.